what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom bringing you guys another video guys in today's video We're gonna cover how you guys can get your first victory royale in a solo match guys I definitely think I'm able to show you guys how it's done. I have a lot of wins I've helped thousands of people get it So guys basically first off a lot of people are gonna want to go to snobby shores Don't go there because of this evil villain layer that they got a lot of people are gonna want to visit it So it might be packed lonely lodge is another boring one, but they have the superhero layer So that's definitely not a good choice now everywhere else like dusty deep uh, Maybe junk junction might be a good place to go But then haunted hills has chest locations. So with the best place to go We're gonna go to tomato town you guys tomato town probably has everything that you're looking for in the game and again Right now, the battle bus is pretty far from it, so the likelihood of people going to Tomato Town are very slim. So you, you're trying to think of a place, when it comes to landing, you're trying to think of a place that not many people are going to go to, but you can be able to get good loot and enough material out of it. So basically, I came to the conclusion, just like last time, Tomato Town's a good place to go. No one goes there. I mean, what's special about Tomato Town? Nothing. Plus, also, the bus is very far from Tomato Town, so not a lot of people are going to want to make this distance or the travel to get to Tomato Town. So if we do get here... There's probably going to be maybe one person, so I'm just going to look around real quick, check to see if I see anyone. Like right now, I don't see a single person coming here, so which is good. This is very good because now we have Tomato Town to ourselves, you guys. We literally can loot this all to ourselves. No one else here to worry about, so we're, we're good to go. We, got a, we need a weapon first. Oh, I think I hear someone over here. Someone's in this building. Hang on. See, now this is just bad luck. I'm going to have to get a weapon before he does. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's right there. Close the door. We just got to get out of here, guys. Basically, we need to get a weapon. So it looks like there's one other person here. So this is the situation. I know some of you guys might get in a sticky situation like this where you have a shitty weapon like this this heavy gun right here. But this is all we have. So what we're going to do is we're going to break out of here, get out of here. So that way we can try to see if we can kill him, see if he chases us or whatnot. We can tell how good he is by those things. Oh, he's right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's coming. All right, there's, he's got a shotgun, which is not good. So instead of running away, he looks like he's bad. He doesn't know where we are. We're just going to try and melt him real quick. Oh my god, dude, he put a lot of damage into me, but it's look at this dude He got literally a pump and a tactical shotgun right away Freaking lucky man. That that's that's just straight luck. He got lucky. Luckily. We got shields man We have a lot of shields uh, now. We just need heals But now now I definitely think we're here alone again Every situation is going to be different every scenario So guys keep in mind stay on edge if you land here don't expect to be alone. Always remember that there could be someone here. So basically, we want to farm now. We, we, I think we killed everyone here. We're going to farm, get our materials up. The reason you want materials is because you guys are going to learn in a little bit. At the end of the game, end game is when the mats really matter, you guys. If you're going to come down to like a, a build-off fight or something like that, you're going to want to have as many mats as possible because think about it. More mats you have now, the less you're going to have to be out in the open. Guys, this, this strategy that I'm about to teach you guys, that you guys are watching right now, it's literally going to be something that some people don't like, but some people call it camping. I call it playing the edges of the circle perfectly, you guys. Now, again, this is just to get your first victory royale. These these wooden mats, guys, by the way, these uh, pallets right here. Oh, bad, we got bandages too. So we're going to heal up right now. Um, but those wooden pallets, you got to destroy them all, you guys. You get a lot of wood out of it. But the, the strategy that I'm talking about, it's playing the edge of the circle, man. It's not camping. Uh, some people can call it camping. Uh, it's definitely playing the edge of the circle. But in my opinion, I think it's just the smartest thing to do if you're trying to get a victory out. If you're not that good at the game, this is the best way you can go to try to get a victory out. Guys, keep in mind, doing this strategy every single time, even if you do it 12 times and you win 8 games out of it, or maybe 3 games, you do it 12 times and win 3 games out of it, just because you're doing this is not going to make you a better player. So for those of you guys that are watching this video and you want to become a better player at the game, this this technique's not going to help out you guys. You you're definitely going to want to try to uh try to get a little aggressive, play with friends, playing in squads is definitely going to help out, playing duos, playing with friends is going to help out a lot at getting better at the game. But when it comes to solo victory royales and you're just trying to get a win, you don't care about getting better, you just really want to get a win, this is the best strategy you guys can do. You can do this probably 100 times and win maybe 20 times so in order to get 20 wins this season man and you're doing this it's freaking awesome guys the, the likelihood of you winning is really good like i said guys pay attention to everything i'm doing because i mean there's chests in here there's literally everything that i'm looting right now nobody's gonna really try to loot again every scenario is different some games you might find people some games you might not but we're gonna get in the circle there's only about 30 seconds left until the storm starts closing in so we're gonna try to find a house in the circle that's basically the strategy we need to do is Find a house that's on the edge of the circle, closest to the edge of the circle as possible. And it looks like this brick house actually might 
might be good in the circle, you guys. So we can actually hit this brick house, and then we can wait in the brick house for the edge of the circle to come. Again, we're playing the edges of the circle. That's the best strategy we can do. We're going to literally destroy everything that we can, get as much mats as we can. Look, we already have 300 mats, a pump shotgun, a tactical shotgun, full shields, baby pots, 75 health. We're looking good, man. We're just going to destroy as much things as we can, get as much wood as we can, and then we're going to literally camp it out. This is this is the part where people say, oh, it's camping. Uh, yeah, kind of kind of is, guys. We're, we're, we're basically going to camp it out. We're not going to engage in fights, you guys. A lot of people really want to try to get wins by engaging in fights. Guys, if you really want to get wins, the less fights you get in, the more chance you're actually going to win. Think about it. It's a 50-50% chance. Oh, let me talk to you guys about this pump shotgun. If you're not good with the, the pump... And then the attack switch kill off. Basically, if you shoot with the pump and then switch and shoot with the attack, that's what you're supposed to do. If you're not good with it, use the heavy shotgun, you guys. This is basically the best of both worlds. It's in between both of them. But if you are good with it, if you're good at switching your weapons, use this combo right here. This is probably the best combo you can probably do in the game. The one pump, go for the headshots, and they're dead. If not, you can finish them off with attack. So if you're good at that, use that. If you're not, again, use the heavy shotgun, you guys. Every gun in this game really depends on your skill level and where you're at within the game. Um, so again, play with it, see what you like, see what you don't like, but don't engage in fights, you guys. Right now, we're just destroying as much wood as we can. We're literally going to get rid of this so that way we have this whole rooftop to just run around at and hide. But for now, it looks like we have a minute and 50 seconds. We're in the circle, so this is exactly what we're going to do for probably another minute. Until the circle gets really close here, I'll see you guys here in a second because we're literally just going to sit right here in the same exact spot until the circle comes in. Alright guys, now that the circle is actually coming in and it's about to close off, we're about to find out where the next circle is and this is the next step in the game, you guys. So if we've completed the first step and made it to this first circle, this is the next step. we got to find out where the new circle is and then we decide what we're going to do. Okay, so the new circle is out of us, so we actually have to move, which is kind of sometimes unfortunate, sometimes you'll get lucky, but what we need to do is we need to wait. We're going to wait a little bit longer because anyone from out here, out in the little purple storm area, Anyone that's over there and they make it to the edge of the circle, they're probably all on the edge of the circle healing up right now. So we're going to wait for them to heal up. We're going to wait for them to actually start pushing into the new circle. And then that's when we're going to push in. So it's basically a waiting game because, again, you want everyone else to be pushing to the new circle before you. So that way you're going to play as close to this purple line as possible, you guys. Now we're going to determine the route we want to go. Uh, there's a house right here, but we're not going to hit that house just because it's not in the circle. Uh, there's a shack. Actually, there's a shack right here we can actually hide in. Um, or there's houses up here. So there's either the houses up here or we can go down to the shack. But now we got to determine the route. For the houses, I think we want to go up here. If we go down here, that'll be the best route for the shack. But... Again, I want to play it a little risky. I'm going to go up here and go to the houses, you guys. Just because there's more loot at the houses. There's more places to hide in at the houses. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, we have still a minute and 21 seconds. Don't get scared of the timer. Don't get scared of the storm. We have enough time, you guys. A lot of people make the mistake and they push too early. You have enough time. you got to determine how far the circle is and how much time is left on the board. Um, it's, again, not that far from us. So we have plenty of time to just sit here, wait for everyone else to start pushing up towards the circle, and then we can push up. We literally want to be right on the edge of the circle when the storm's coming in, you guys. So basically, when it hits 45 seconds, I think is when we're going to push up. Um, that's about enough time for everyone else to push up to the circle. And then we're going to uh, go to the house, you guys. So that's where we're going to determine when to go. Um, let me see. Make sure you're always jumping too, guys. A lot of people don't jump, but jumping and running helps out because if anyone sees you and you don't see them and they try to snipe you, if you're jumping, it's going to make it a lot harder for them to snipe you. So if you're just literally running in a straight line and not jumping like that, it's, it's going to be hard, you guys. So just running straight like this, literally anyone could snipe me and kill me instantly. So again, you got to remember to keep jumping because jumping helps out so you don't get sniped and you don't get ended through the game that quick, you guys. Oh, there's a drop up there, but we're not going to worry about it. We got good loot. We got good mats. We got health. We got shield. We're not going to worry about it. We could use a better AR. It's okay, though, you guys. Again, we're not we're not really worried about fighting. We're not worried about looting. We got the loot that we wanted from the first city. If you land at that first city and you don't get what you want, then you might have to go loot, you guys. But again, try to do this strategy every single time, and you can get a victory royale. So now... It looks like there's building over... Okay, so there was a fight over there. They might still be fighting. I don't hear gunshots or anything, so 
Someone might have won it and ended up healing, but I'm just going to literally keep running to the circle. Check your surroundings as you're running, you guys. Like right now, I'm literally looking everywhere. I'm making sure I don't see anyone running across the fields. By the way, if you didn't know what I meant by shack, I'm talking about that thing right there. Literally, that right there, that's the shack that I was talking about, you guys. Um, Oh, there's stairs going up to this house. Since there's stairs going up to this house, someone might still be there hiding. So what we're going to do is we're going to change our route. Just come right here to the shack. Just because someone might be up there hiding, doing the same strategy as us, and I don't want to go in there and fight him. Uh, again, if this was a normal game, I would do it, but I'm trying to get a victory royale. So I'm just going to come in here, hide, hold my shotgun out, so that way if anyone runs in, I can kill him. And now I just wait. we got 20 seconds left. We're literally just going to wait and find out where the next circle is. All right, so the next circle is not where we want it to be. Uh, it's not on us. Again, it's unfortunate. The only place I can think of is going around Loot Lake and then going to factories. That's the only place in the circle that we can actually hide. Now, this is going to suck. Whoever gets on this mountain is probably going to end up making it at the end of the game. They're going to be definitely good to go. But what we're going to want to do is get inside this factory without being seen, without being touched, without fighting anyone. And then we'll be good to go, you guys. So we have enough time. Again, don't be scared. We still are very close to the circle. We're going to run around this long route, come into the factories, and hide in there without being seen. Now, we have time. So we're good to go. I think at one minute is when I'm going to start moving just because we still have to go around the circle, you guys. We still have to go around the long way. Um, it's not like we could cut directly through Loot Lake. That's definitely not the move. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come from these outside edges right here. People are going to be over there. So we're going to wait for them. We're going to wait for them to start pushing up. And then now since, since there's a minute left, we got to go around. We're going to go now. Keep in mind, we're, we're trying not to. We're not gonna stay at the edge of the lake because people can see us from anywhere. So we're gonna hide around these houses, around the trees and stuff like that. I think someone's in here. Oh yeah, someone's right there. Little leprechaun girl. All right, headshot. Third person peeking, you guys, right there, just like that. Exactly what I did right there. And she had really good loot. So this is really good. It's looking really good for us because now we have good loot. We have. Oh, grenade launcher, dude. The grenade launcher is going to be so clutch. We're going to drop our bandages, keep our shield pots. Dude, look at our inventory. We're looking solid. We got to go because the storm's about to come here in a second. And we don't want to get caught in the storm. Again, don't be too scared about this storm. Um, it's not really going to hurt you that much if you're outrunning it, you guys. We can definitely outrun this now. We can literally hide, chill out for a little bit. But our inventory stacked. We have a green AR, 999 wood, blue pump, green tack. 10 baby pots and a grenade launcher. That grenade launcher is literally going to win us the game. Watch. I guarantee you, you guys. If you have a grenade launcher and it comes down to, like, the last three people, it can win you the game. It always happens, man. I always love having grenade launchers because it helps out a lot. So we're going to try and hopefully get in these factories right here without anyone shooting at us. I think we might be good. Yeah, no one's shooting at us right now, so we might be good, you guys. Um... We're going to just try to be as quiet as possible. Check for traps. Close the door. Oh, shit, I hear someone. Another tip that I want to give you guys is make sure you have a good headset, you guys. Make sure you have your volume cranked up so you can sound hard because listening to things is everything. All right, so it looks like he's over there still building. So while he's building, we're going to move now. Um, we're just going to get to the very top of this factory, check for traps, make sure there's no traps. Sneakly, sneak our way up to the top of the factory, you guys, just because we don't want them to hear us. We don't want them to know that we're hit crap, the roof's open. So right, we're going to hide right under here. Right under here, you guys. We're going to literally be as quiet as possible. We don't want no one to know where we are, and we want them to kill each other. We don't want to kill anyone. We want them to kill each other, so that way we can get in the top one situation. Um, again... The edges of the circle, you guys. As you guys can see, again, I'm literally camped up right at the edge of the circle. I know some people are going to get mad at this, but it works. 100% it works. I wouldn't be giving you guys this tip if it didn't work. You know, a lot of people don't know about this, so make sure if you do get a victory royale, you let us know in the comments below. You got to win. All right, so this is where the new circle is. People on that mountain could end up coming. Um, we're going to, there's no really houses that we can hide in, you guys. Um, if I guess there's a cave over here, but that's way too far on the opposite side. If we're in Tilted Towers, we could probably hide in this building right here. But we're so far from it. Unfortunately, things are going to actually get really difficult, you guys. This is where th shit gets actually hard because the circle has not been on our side at all. Sometimes you'll get lucky and it'll be on your side, but right now, doesn't look like it, man. So we're going to have to move. But this is good because 
now you guys can see what you have to do in a hard situation. You know, this is something where like it's not an easy situation. The circle is not on your side. Things are going to be difficult. So now we just wait. We have a minute and 10 seconds. This circle, we can actually outrun this circle. So we're literally going to wait until the storm starts moving or until we hear gunshots. I think someone's still up there. So we're going to push now. I heard a sniper shot. Um, someone might still be up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to sneak into their base underneath them. And we're just going to hide in here, you guys. No traps. We're literally going to go. Oh, I hear him. I think I hear him up there. I don't see him. I thought I heard him, but maybe not. All right, we're going to go under the stairs. Oh, shit, I hear him. Yeah, we're just going to hide right here, you guys. Literally just hide right here. Again, don't be scared of the timer. I know a lot of you guys see the timer ticking down, and you're like, oh, crap, there's five seconds, and then the storm's going to start coming. The storm moves extremely slow at these ends. So at these endpoints, we this is where a lot of people make the mistake and they push a little bit too early. You want to time it so perfectly to the point. Oh, I heard him go out here. Look, we're just literally going slow, you guys. We can outrun the circle. The circle is not going to scare us. Um, I think he started pushing up. We're going to be the last ones to get in the circle, and that's what we want. We don't want anyone to be behind us. We want to be behind everyone else. So what we're going to do is we're going to go go down here because I don't want anyone seeing us from the mountainside. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. This is not good. I was not expecting him to be right there. Not expecting that at all. All right, so now that our cover's blown because we shot, there's only three people left. We got to go. We got to get to the circle. We got to find a good hiding spot, a good bush. There's no bushes around here. Dang it. All right, this, there's a... All right, someone's definitely in that base. Yep, shot at me. There's definitely in that base. So what we're going to do is we're going to hide behind this hill right here. We're in the circle. We're good. And we're just going to wait to find out where the next circle is, you guys. Literally just hide. We're just just waiting. We're just waiting to see where the next circle is. Um, it looks like, it, again, it's not on our side. It's literally away from us. We're going to third-person peek this person. He can't see us because we're third-person peeking. We're just going to see where he shoots his RPGs. Make sure he's not shooting us with it. Make sure he's not going to hit us with it. And we're just going to wait. Hopefully, hopefully the other guy is actually somewhat decent, and he's going to fight him. Because if they fight each other, that leads it down to a 1v1, which is really good. We're just going to wait. Wait for the timer to tick, and then we'll move, guys. Literally, that's all we do. Play the edges of the circle. So now we're going to determine where we can go. Um, I guess if we go up on this mountain, that's probably the best bet to do, guys, because everything else is lower ground, but the mountain looks like it might be the best place to go. I don't think he's up there no more, so we're going to push up a little bit. We're going to check to see if he's there. Yeah, it looks like he's not there. We're going to push up. Oh, he's probably in that. Oh, someone's right here. I can hear him. All right, the other guy is over there, so what we're going to do is put up a wall so he doesn't shoot at us. And we're going to kill this guy real quick. He's doing the same exact technique as us. Third person peek it, and then headshot. That's all you got to do, you guys. It, it helps out a lot. Third person peeking, they can't see you, but you can see exactly what they're doing, you guys. Basically, you're hiding around the corner, and you're peeking third person. Now that there's this one guy left, and he's building all the way up like that, he messed up. It's I can already tell there's a victory out. We have a grenade launcher. He's building up like that. What do you guys think we're going to do? That's right. We're going to shoot them with grenade launchers. Literally just blow his base up. He's probably going to die by this right here. Okay, we hit him. He's weak. He just fell. He's at the bottom. Look, this is the GG right here, you guys. We're literally just spamming his base. Grenade launchers. He's running away, so we're going to rush him. We're going to get up. High ground. Always keep high ground. Always keep high ground. Um, and then we're just going to literally get above him and shotgun him, you guys. Literally easiest dub ever that's how you guys get a victory royale guys easiest thing ever again this is how you get your first victory royale in season four guys if you please can give this video a thumbs up if it worked for you give this video a thumbs up i appreciate the likes more than anything else i don't care if you guys subscribe if you guys do like the content subscribe we're gonna have a whole bunch of things and tips and tricks on the channel so if you want to get better subscribe but i prefer a like so if you guys can give this video a thumbs up i appreciate it and thank you guys so much man that's how you get your first victory royale peace